What's up ladies and gentlemen, Dan Whitmer of Zen Dude Fitness and today I'm gonna to teach you the top five reasons why you continue to trip up your feet on the jump rope. Now, I understand this can be a very frustrating thing when starting out, but please understand that even Brandon and myself had this issue when we first started jumping rope. And please, Zen dudes and dudettes, do not get discouraged because I promise you with practice and the more you continue to do the thing, the easier it will get. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, to start off, one of the most important things is I see people holding the rope too high. Now, I'll get in and a little bit to where you want to be holding the rope but basically guys you want to have it jutting out to the sides of your hips right where my waist uh, waistband is in my sweatpants that's where you want to keep it if you notice when I'm jumping everything's fine until my hands start to come up a little bit more and I see that tendency with a lot of people they bring their hands um, up higher as they jump rope this especially happens when people are trying to attempt double unders if you notice here even the slightest movement of my hands upwards is going to cause the rope not to be able to go underneath my feet, causing a lot of frustration. Um, so even when starting, guys, I would over-exaggerate this and, and purposely keep the rope kind of low so that you make sure that it gets underneath your feet. And as you'll see here from the side, everything's fine when I have it at my waistband. And then as soon as I move my hands up, that's when I hit my feet with the rope. And this is probably the biggest mistake that I see um, from a lot of people. Next up guys, not keeping the rope tight, also very important. And what I mean by this is if you'll notice here, this is where we talk about you wanna use mostly your wrists. If you are using your entire arm, the rope is not going to be tight because it doesn't have uh, your wrists making it tight by pulling on it. Um, you're essentially just forcing the rope around, but you're not really uh, keeping the rope tight by controlling it with your wrist. So if you'll notice here, my elbows and my shoulders are doing a lot of the work, but that's an issue because then my wrists aren't tight and aren't able to carry the rope. Now, if you notice here, this is how you want to do it. Notice how basically the only thing working in this, in this situation are my forearms and my wrists. And notice how the rope keeps that nice, tight U-shape. That's how you want the rope to look, whether you're doing tricks, whether you're just doing regular bounce. Um, and this is important because when you're increasing your speed, that's what's gonna help you burn a lot of fat and hang on to that lean muscle mass. So notice again how my feet, or excuse me, my hands are down around my waist and my wrists and forearms are controlling everything. Not a whole lot of movement in my biceps and in my shoulders. This is super important, guys. And remember, don't get discouraged if you are doing some of these mistakes and uh, you need to practice a little bit more. Brandon and I were once there as well, so don't get discouraged, guys. Another big one. You're probably not warmed up. Now this is the Zen Dude warm up. It's 20 jumping jacks, 10 squats, 10 front lunges, five on each leg, and 10 push-ups. I want you to run through that two or three times. But the reason I'm having you guys warm up is because simply a lot of people comment on our videos and say, oh, I'm tripping over the rope. And I'm like, well, it's because you're not warmed up. And I know even with myself, I've ran into this problem. Uh, you know, my feet and my ankle joints might feel a little bit brittle. It might hurt to jump on them initially. And so this is why you wanna make sure that you're warmed up, not only so that you don't trip over your rope, but so that you also prevent injury. So I cannot stress enough the importance of making sure that the body is warmed up before you begin jumping rope. And like I said, guys, do what's good for your body. If you, sometimes I dance before I do this. Sometimes, you know, I'll run through this, excuse me, warm up three times, uh, not usually four, but if you feel like you need it, that is totally fine. Ladies and gentlemen, that is totally fine. So warm up people. Next, focus, focus, focus on regular bounce. If you're doing tricks that you can't do yet, as you see here, obviously um, I'm messing up with this trick. And guys, I want you to focus more on, remember, if you're trying to jump rope to get the body, you wanna make sure that you are uh, jumping you that you have the correct regular bounce form down don't go don't go in our workouts don't try and do all these tricks because then you're not going to be able to get the regular bounce form down so not only you're going to be messing up a lot um, but you're not going to perfect the regular bounce form and you're not going to be able to lose as much weight because you haven't learned the basics and how to go fast with simply the regular bounce so I implore you guys just do 
regular bounce as best as you can and save the tricks in some of our trick tutorials. You can check those out um, for when you are proficient in regular bounce. Now this last one, we talk about this a lot. You simply have not found your rhythm. If you see here, all I'm doing, now I, I know you can't see inside my head obviously, but I'm counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that little, I'm, I'm matching the click of the rope along with uh, counting my breaths from one to four and then repeating. So another way to do this guys is through music and by using music you can definitely connect your feet to the rope and this is also going to help with tripping over the rope. I know that music is something that a lot of people use. I use it myself um, even though I'm at the point where I don't need to worry about messing up but I still do mess up and please understand that. Also guys have fun, dance, do the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Comment below. Let us know if you have questions.